It's Monday, so I'm here to deliver you some good news. We are 31 days from the start of NFL season. 31. That's it. 31. And I've just been informed by my data nerds that that is the same as one month. We're one month out. So hop in your little personal hibernation chamber, tuck yourself in, set the clock for 31 days. By the time you wake up, you and I will be watching NFL football together. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Why that clip? Why? Because f*** them, that's why. It's time for your daily dose of NFL. Come on, come on. Go away! Over the last two seasons, which wide receiver has led the NFL in yards per reception? Again, over the last two seasons, which wide receiver has led the NFL in yards per reception? Who's catching the most deep balls? Marquez Valdez Scantling, new wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs, led the NFL in yards per reception over the last two years. He actually led the league two years back, I think with 20 yards per reception. He had 16 and a half yards per reception last year. The guy catches deep balls and he catches them at an elite level. You can't replace Tyreek Hill. I understand that. Tyreek Hill is a, is a generational talent and his absence is going to be felt in Kansas City. I don't think enough credit is being given to what Valdez Scantling can offer as a replacement. He is, again, one of the best deep ball receivers in the NFL. He now gets to go play with Patrick Mahomes. Not a pretty bad deal for MVS. He had Aaron Rodgers. Now he gets Mahomes. So good for him. Do not sleep on MVS. I was looking for a future prop to tie this into. I couldn't find a good one that I loved, but I can promise you this. First couple weeks of the season, I will be on this guy. Touchdown, two touchdowns. You know the drill. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, buy some stock. That was your daily dose of NFL.